Hi, this is Ryan Bizey, and today I'm going to take a look at the Target exclusive Black Series Stormtrooper Executioner. I was able to pick this up this last week. They had it uh, for order on the website, and I went ahead and ordered it for store-to-store -store pickup. It came in quicker than it was expected, and it was great because I got to use that $25 gift card that I got from Force Friday. So let's take a look. So here it is in its box. Obviously, it looks a lot like a Stormtrooper with extra black and a new accessory. Not a whole lot on the back as far as verbiage about him. As seems to be customary on the Black Series. And of course, it's an exclusive, so there is no number. Let's open it up and check. So it out. here he is out of the package. Um, he seems to have very clean paint lines. I like the first order emblem here on his shoulder. I mean, he looks very good. I'll turn him over. But, I mean, ultimately what I look at this is how different is it from the previous 6-inch First Order Stormtrooper. I have the San Diego Comic-Con one here. And there are some minor differences. There are some paint differences beyond what would be obvious, like the extra black in areas. But, like, here on his belt, the one from Force Awakens has kind of a black line in there where painted, and this does not. Um, there are many places where we get black and such where they look a little bit different just slightly different paint schemes on some of this um the only thing is this midsection here if you look at the force awakens one those two lines going up on his midsection seems to go uh they're kind of rounded in here they definitely look much smaller and um i don't want to say more rectangular but they definitely look different that's about the only big molding difference that I've seen here. I did do a side-by-side -side comparison of their heads. Here, I'll try to show you that. I'm not trying to make it look like the two are kissing. It's more to show the comparison because I remember hearing early on that the Stormtroopers for Last Jedi were supposed to be a different head, that the mouth was a different shape or it was a little longer, but I don't see it there. It looks to be the same sculpt on both of these when compared side-by-side. I mean, look at the figure, almost looks like it could be a little bit longer, but, you know, it's it's really hard to, to see in there when, when I do the comparison. But it definitely looks like there's more of an angle on the mouth here than there is here. But the mouth def definitely seems to be in the same place. And I can't tell if that's just a trick of the eye or what, because they do look practically the same right next to each other. Now, his weapon... We have his executioner weapon here, complete with a lightning going around it. It doesn't really move at all. It's all in one position. I'm sure in the movie this opens up. Well, maybe it does move. Just a second. So you can take the lightning bits off and fold it all up like that. Kind of looks a little bent. I, I don't know how it's exactly supposed to look in the movie. But uh, clearly you can fold all this up, which is nice. It's good to see that we, we do get that. Um, it's a very pliable plastic used for the rod, so I'm sure if you have this above his head or something, it will uh, easily bend. But um, still a nice little extra accessory. And that's basically the only difference besides a little paint between these two figures, it would seem. So with further inspection, I can tell these are actually a different mold. As you can see here, the black next to his mouth is fairly wide on the original First Order Stormtrooper. And on the Executioner, it's much slimmer. So this is definitely a newer mold on the helmet, or at least a uh, change to the mold. The more I'm looking at it, you can see a definite difference between the mouth line on the Force Awakens to The Last Jedi. So this appears to be definitely a new helmet. Also notice he's got silver paint in the vents there on the side of the helmet, which we didn't have here before. So there's a definite difference between these two. <clears throat> so this is not strictly a repaint. Well, that's just kind of nice to see, isn't it? So as you can see, you can get a pretty good action pose out of him. He looks very cool wielding his staff here. I don't think we've got an actual name on what the staff is called. But it's a very cool figure. Uh, obviously, it's only 20 bucks, so you're not going to spend a whole lot extra on this like some of the other exclusives. So uh, I would say it's worth pickup. Looks like that helmet is definitely a new sculpt. Um, a very cool figure. So that was a look at the Target exclusive Black Series Stormtrooper Executioner. I've got several reviews lined up that I'm going to be working through. Uh, I'll be coming out over the next few days. So check them out and subscribe below if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching.